Welcome back to A House From Trees. So I think you've probably gotten the picture by now that I need a lot of help when I'm doing this and I've got a lot of people around here, a lot of neighbors and friends. I'm looking at you, Matt. I'm looking at you, 350. Tim, Ben, everybody, everybody. And when I, when I kind of run into a, something that I know I need help on, it's nice to be able to call some of these people and they'll be there, but I don't want to abuse that. So if there's something that's right on the verge of my ability that I think I can do alone, I'm gonna try to do that alone. And uh, well, in this week's video, I think is a perfect example of having a tiny little victory, which was uh, really nice. You may point out some things that look sketchy. That's okay. I did everything pretty safe. There was one moment that was sketchy, but it's pretty solid. So uh, yeah, enjoy. Boy, I have no idea if this little system is gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, it could be easy. It could be really straightforward and simple, and that would be great. We'll see. Seems pretty good. Gonna have a lot of torque on it, I think. I think, I know. Oh no, right away if it's gonna work out. So these two posts, one and two, are acting as anchors. That, I don't know if you can see up through there, that little, that top plate where the rafters are resting, that's acting as the spar. And right there is gonna be the pulley. That will hang right up there. The cable will run down to a chain here and from here, from the winch, so. Uh, the plan is to pull with the remote uh, string there and lift this slowly up, 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 and then anchor it in place. I have no idea if it's going to work. I'll know pretty quick though. 44. That's half of 88. Did that math right in my head. Oh, it's going to be a lot of force on that web strap. Monarch butterfly. All right, well, there's only one way to find out if it's going to work. I mean, calculations could be done, I'm sure, but I'm not doing them. Trial and then error. Hopefully just trial. Trial then proof. Good timing. Damn, that worked well. Are you kidding me? It seemed effortless. There's definitely some torque on there right now, but not, not horrible. Now I, golly, I can't believe that. I gotta set it up so I can strap it off. Well, that worked far better than I thought it was going to, so uh, I didn't really plan on how I was going to prevent it from going all the way forward. So I've got a, I've got a 2x4 with a um, little buffalo thing there um, lined up, uh, but I want to get a rope from the top back to the tractor so it can't go all the way. That makes sense.
can't believe that worked. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. I mean, I guess I can, I have to, but I'm very happy it worked and it worked really well and it seemed pretty darn safe. At one point I was under in a spot that I shouldn't have been and uh, I was aware of that. I could have gotten out of the way quickly, but there's redundancies. It's really good. I, I just, I'm really happy with it. And I think it's the right height, which is also sort of equally shocking. Oh man. Oh man. That is exactly, just exactly 12 foot six. Yes sir. I suppose it could be hotter, but it would have to be four hours ago or tomorrow. Almost got this into level and uh, I can take a shot with the, um, with the two by 10 there and see what we can. See what it looks like. Well, that just brought me nice and hard on the head. How does it look? I can't see. It's the house from Tarps, remember? Guess I could have used a longer one, huh? Well, it's a new day. It's hotter. And uh, I got a longer 2x10. I just pulled down some of the staging on the inside. So I got plenty of room. Now I'm gonna fit it and see, uh, see where I'm at with my measurements. Boy, it's still hot today. It fits under there. Fits nicely. God damn. Oh man, that's nice. I'm gonna sink a screw in there just cause. Uh, this is basically to eye it and take a couple shots and figure out um, if I'm exactly 312, if my measurements are all right. Oh, that is cool. So I'm trying to sight down that line right there. Right there. Hey, Baba. <laughs> so what I was trying to do with this, this little two by 10 tester, is just get a good line of sight a good line of sight up uh, up this to see how it looks because the roof's going to sit on top of this and uh, I've got that sitting on a kind of off cut 2 by whatever 2 by 8 um, so it's propped up a little bit but considering I'm planning on sheathing this in one by material you know roughly one by uh, rough cut pine I'm going to have it set down just a little bit so uh, we'll see I may I may end up just going with 5 eighths again um, but I've got a nice pile of pine down there that I'd like to use, but boy, it's it's cool from up here. I'm gonna have to get used to this uh, this view again here pretty soon, but I'm gonna build up uh, some staging here and here, which will make it a lot easier to uh, to work on and a lot safer. How about you, Bobo? You excited? Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next week.